given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear come out today to get a few things. Actually, I ran to the dollar store to get some... Well, they're essential for me because I do YouTube. So I, I'm a YouTube creator, so I actually did need a few things. I needed some phone boards, but I am grabbing those few things, and I'm right back inside. You guys see, I do wear a mask when I'm out. I'm in the car now, so... What I do is I open the door, I spray my car. I wear two pairs of gloves. When I'm in the store, I have on two pairs of gloves. So when I come out, I take the one pair of gloves off and throw it in the trash. Go to the car, I open my door. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I open my door with the clean gloves. Take my Lysol, my um, spray that I have on the door of my car. And I spray my inside of my car. Then I get in and I take my mask off. That's why for me, it's, it's not really worth me coming outside like that because I have to go through too much. Just like when I get back in the house, it's a whole little decontamination that I go through. So it's just not worth it for me to be running outside all the time. I have some projects that I want to complete, but... I probably just have to have some things delivered, and I don't think you can have paint delivered, so I'll probably have to go out in a few days to get some paint, but just like this, this is a postal carry with no mask on her face. I just don't understand. People just really are not taking this seriously at all, and I live in the city, y'all, so they are just hanging out in droves. They are out. It's different, you know, when people... You know, it's a distance between you and your neighbors. It's not a big deal. You can hang out a little bit. You can sit in your yard, things like that. But when your neighbors are stone throws, a stone throw away, I'm not sitting out in my yard. I'm not sitting out on my porch or in my backyard. Maybe in my backyard, but not definitely not in the front where they're all hanging all out. And I love my front porch, but I can't sit on my front porch right now because my neighbors like to hang out. So how is your day going this Saturday? I'm just out here picking up a few things. Well, I've already got them, and I'm on my way back home now, guys. Sorry for the shaking. <laughs> you guys are on a janky little holder. guys know I'm in a different car now. So. But it is Saturday, you guys. I have been not, I haven't been doing anything today. It's just been a um, lazy morning. My house is actually so sweet. It's actually almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. And I just probably got out a little while ago. I made two stops. And now I'm on my way back in. Yep, and that's it for me. I'm going back in the house, honey. Where it is safe, okay? <laughs> I'm going back in where it is safe. I think it's so bold how these manufacturing companies are doing us. They're trying to act like people are just running out here buying everything off the shelves. Well, actually, what it is is they're not um, distributing things. They're not distributing things. I'm sorry. It's no way in hell that it shouldn't be disinfectant spray on the shelves by now. Or Clorox wipes. That's crazy. And when I look at the manufacturing companies and the distribution companies, they supposedly distribute it, distribute it through the United States. So I don't understand why the shelves aren't stocked with these items. This is bull crap, and that's how you know it's an underlying conspiracy, I'll say it, to, uh, to um, incite panic. What was that? <laughs> the heck was that? Hmm. 
So yes, I'm going home, home, home. And um, as a matter of fact, I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay, sweetheart, so I am home. I'm just chilling, drinking a cup of coffee. Glad to be back in the safety of my home. I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm going to do a tray, and I'm going to do some cleaning in the house. I need to do some cleaning. So I'm going to um, disinfect the house, you know, bleach the house down, and uh, just clean up this Saturday. Do some uh, regular cleaning. I'm actually going to do it a little bit later. I'm kind of tired. You guys know I get up early, and um, I'm not saying I'm tired. I'm just I'm just chilling. You know, I'm watching Modern Family. I'm watching a little Modern Family marathon. Let me stop touching my face. It's such a habit to touch your face. And, you know, this, what you're supposed to be doing right now is trying your best not to touch your face. It's such a habit to touch your face. For me, anyway. But, um, so you guys know, oh, I, I spray my wig, y'all. I disinfect my wig. I spray Lysol in my, in my wig, everything. I take it off. I spray it good. Shake it out. Spray it. Hang it up. All that good stuff. Uh, 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 uh. But I'm just chilling. I said, let me come back on and uh, let you guys know that um, I did make it back home. And then I stopped at the gas station, right? So you guys know I had my mask on and my gloves. So I sat in the car and I waited on everyone to go in. So I guess the guy that pulled up noticed that I was waiting. So he got out, I got out, and um, I guess I, I don't know, my eyes probably looked a little like, oh gosh, we're going to cross, you know, going into this gas station. So he's like, oh no, you go ahead, you go ahead. Did you know he waited for me to get my stuff and come out and before he came in? He was being funny, but he was being nice at the same time. He probably didn't even know it. He probably thought he was just being funny. Because he's like, oh, like, you go ahead. It was okay for me. I, I thought it was nice. I was, I was happy about that because I wanted to be the only one in there to grab my little stuff and get on out really quickly because Paige wanted Eminem. And I forgot to get them at um, the Dollar Street, so I ran in there real quick. And I mean, it's not like we're rushing to get anywhere, so I sat there and waited until everyone um, came out. You know, the gas station is small, the inside. You don't want to be in such close, close proximity to the next person. And these folks are out here with nothing on, even though I have my mask on it. And I have a, um, some, our masks are pretty good. Um, they are, I forgot, they're um, 3M masks. So, you know, nothing gets through. If you, even if you took like a little air spray and sprayed through it, nothing is coming out of the other side of it. So it's a good filtered mask. So I hope you guys had a good day. What are you guys doing today? Everybody's getting so creative. Um, I haven't really been watching many. I gotta get today. I was on YouTube earlier today. Um, I haven't really been watching too much YouTube. Uh, I guess other than like hair videos and stuff like that. But as far as like mukbangers and all that good stuff, I haven't been watching too much of. Um, so I haven't. I might watch some mukbangs a little bit later. Ooh, I'm tired, you guys. I know every day, every time I come on here lately, since we've been at home, I've just been chilling, huh? Yes, I am so relaxed. But like I say, I'm resting up for the harvest, you guys. So when I get back to work, I know it's going to be off the chain. So I'm resting up for it. And I have all the energy to go in and um, handle it. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry, though. I need to get pick something to eat. I think I might make some muscles. I'm kind of in a seafood mood, so I might make some mussels, some garlic butter. We shall see. But yeah, I've got to do a little bit of cleaning. Paige just finished working out. She put together that Ab Circle Pro that I bought so long ago that I had never put together. She put it together, and she just finished using it. I haven't tried it yet, you guys. I used this years ago, right? I bought this because years ago, when I used to work out faithfully and I had a trainer and I was like in really good shape, I might, my, I might even add a picture <laughs> up there of uh, how, what I'm trying to, of me. That's, that's the me I'm trying to get back to. But um, 
I was working out on one of these things. I was doing my workout regimen. And I guess it was core that day. And I got on the thing and I went to twist on it and pull a muscle in my abdomen. Oh my gosh, I was messed up, you guys, for like a month or so. So these machines can be kind of dangerous. You have to really take your, uh, be careful with them. So I went to the dollar store. They didn't have anything. I mean, it is ridiculous the way these shelves are looking, you guys. It's crazy. You wonder, you have to wonder if people are being that excessive and just buying everything as soon as it comes out, like people are at the store as soon as the store opens and they're just buying everything, and, you know, and it's selling out, or if the people aren't producing this stuff. Shoot, this is crazy. And thankfully, you know, I'm one of those people that I just have stuff anyway, and like, um, the last time we went out, it's because... Okay, when everything happened, like I told you guys, it was just time for me to replenish. It was using my paper goods anyway. So, we bought toilet paper, but it's just still not like, you know, what we buy. Like, we probably, I probably bought the amount that we buy, my sister bought, what she buys, but it's kind of like every time we go out, we buy these types of things. You know what I'm saying? We buy them in bulk, and... We always buy it to keep that stockpile replenished. So, here lately, every time we go out, we're not able to, you know, buy the toilet paper, the 8 rolls or the 12 rolls or whatever. You know, that it's, it's, you can't find it. And you wonder, like, are people that greedy and that excessive or are the people just not, the, the manufacturers not producing it properly? It's crazy. I don't know, but I, it's ridiculous is what it is because the people are being that greedy. What are you doing? Eating the toilet paper and the paper towel? Like, it's crazy. The Clorox wipes, you don't see any Clorox wipes, you don't see any Lysol. And that could not be people just buying it up. They're just not putting it on the shelves is what's going on. I think my sister told me that they're not going to be producing Lysol for the rest of the year. I hope I, hope I made that up. I hope I made that up. I really do. Because that's crazy. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at, like, GFS's uh, website and probably go on, like, um, a couple of professional uh, beauty supply websites and see um, and just order some spray from there. I mean, there's always a way. And I'm old school. As long as I got my, my bleach, I'm okay. And some people are just strictly Clorox. I do like my Clorox. And then I'll have the other bleach too. But I get bleach like germicidal, disinfected bleach from um, like GFS, Home Depot, places like that. Ooh, I'm so sleepy. I've got to go candle shop. The last time I went to Meyer. They had glaze. Y'all know I buy any kind of candle. I love my bath and body work. But as long as it's a good smelling, good slow burning candle. I buy them. I used to love the candles at Burlington. That was one of the reasons I worked there. To get the candles when they were marked down for like two ninety nine. Oh my gosh. I would go candle crazy. So I'm just, I told you guys, I just like a few, probably, probably a couple videos ago or Somewhere in the winter, I told you guys, like, I was just, like, getting low on my, um, candles. So, I've been buying candles here lately, but I still need to go and buy some candles. So, I'm going to put that on my little to-do list. Um, you guys know I don't try to go out as, too often, only when I really need to go. So, I'm going to make sure I put candles on my list so that the next time we go out, I will get some candles because I need more candles. You never know what might happen. We're getting ready to, you know, spring is coming. We're getting ready to go into the storm season. So just in case the power goes out or anything like that, you want to make sure you have enough candles. Especially, you know, if something like that happens, you burn so many of your candles, you know. Oh, I'm sleepy, guys. I, I can take, I can use a nap. These days, you do something, 
you sit down, you relax a little while, you take a nap, you get up, you do something else, you sit down, you relax a little, you take a little nap. Ugh. I don't even know why people are complaining. I mean, you know, we all get a little stir crazy. We're ready to get outside and get some air. Especially now, since spring is coming and the sun is shining and we want to get out. But I mean, if we think about it, the more you stay inside and let everything, you know, go, pass us by, we'll be able to get outside and enjoy. But until then, enjoy being inside. Like, I'm going to get up and clean up probably a little bit later tonight, probably in the middle of the night, you know? Just clean up. Get it all fresh and smelling good and everything. And I don't know, I'll probably do some crafts because I told you guys I wanted to do that box. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. So my next video is supposed to be the glass box. I broke the mirror one. Okay. I ran out of foam board and I also ran out of glue for my um, glue gun. So when I do the video, I'm going to put all that in there because I did start the box. But I miscalculated on like one of the sides. So as I went to take it apart again, I broke the mirror inside. Went to the dollar store today and of course they did not have any mirrors. But when I came in, my foyer has turned into like my decontamination station, right? And I just came in and I was looking at everything just kind of thrown around my foyer and I'm like, you know what? I gotta clean my Fourier up and I'm going to, I think, glam my Fourier back up because it just becomes so blah. So I'm gonna um, make a different glass tray that I do have everything I need for. For that, I think I do. I think I've got enough glue to do uh, the last of that. And so um, I'm gonna make that tray. If not, I'm probably gonna go to um, Walmart or Home Depot, like probably later on in the week or next weekend, and um, I'll get some glue for my uh, glue gun. Whew, okay guys, so I'm not going to hold you. You see the sleep is coming down on me. I don't know if it's the heat from the coffee, which is so funny because I tell people all the time, coffee does not wake me up. I'm such a coffee drinker. I've been drinking coffee for so long that the ca caffeine and coffee has no effect on me unless I have like an, an espresso or something. If I have like a couple of shots of espresso with it or something, then maybe it'll like give me that little surge of energy. But coffee um, does not give me any energy at all because I, I drink so much. I used to drink, you guys know, like an excessive amount of coffee. It's, it's almost embarrassing how much coffee I used to drink. I drink a, a pot of coffee a day. I don't do that anymore. I drink a cup. Now, today I'm having two cups. Um, here lately, I, I have to admit, since we've been in the house, I have been drinking like two cups of coffee a day, or I'll have a cup of coffee and a cup of tea in the evening. So it's probably the heat, just the, the coffee is just being, it's kind of soothing. So that's probably what's making me a little sleepy. I'm sure I'm not sleepy, but you know, I might be. I'm probably going to doze off. Like I said, I'm watching Modern Family. I watch it, it watches me, I wake up, I watch it, it watches me, you know, it's been a marathon, so I love Modern Family, it's one of my favorite shows, it's so funny, so I've been watching that today, and um, I'm still going to hop back on here, and uh, I'm getting sleepy, you guys, I'm still going to hop back on here and say good night to you guys, and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow, um, I'm going to go ahead and make that tray and clean the Fourier. I may just film that for you guys too tonight um, and show you guys how big of a mess it is. And then um, I'll clean it up and show you guys, um, you know, how it turned out. All right, guys, I love you guys for real and thank you for tuning in to Savvy TV. All right, bye bye. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, please, please, please. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to share this video with anyone and everyone. I gotta stop saying that because that's my girl's little sign off. You know who. <laughs> but please do share this video with anyone, everyone. And um, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye bye. <laughs>
given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be